Y'all both got the casino in y'all, man. Casino, I mean, you know, that casino come, I ain't gonna lie. From really some shit, man, a nigga locked up in jail, just thinking of ways, my nigga. You know how goddamn me, I feel like everything in life a gamma, bro. Everything. Everything. I don't give a fuck what it is. Us sitting in this beer right now. Goddamn, we're sitting there with the flat a gamma, bro. So it's like, where that casino shit come from? I put that shit together in jail, bro. Just sitting thinking like, nigga, my life been a movie, bro. Like, no, you got damn me go gambling in the casino, then yeah, yeah. shit in Texas, man, you know, it's fucked up out of here, man, so everything go gamble, that's how that shit come about, man, I just put the casino on this shit. YouTube, 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 what it do? It's your boy Big Trev G. I got a video for y'all. Welcome back to another episode of How It All Started. And this one here, we're going to be talking about Lil CJ Casino, Bugatti Casino, Gucci Gang Casino. So I need y'all to hit the like button, subscribe, get at me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you haven't saw the other episodes, go check them out right now. All right, let's go. After Gucci Gang broke away from hood fame, Boo and CJ would put their own team together. With the first wave consisting of artists like Third Gay, Tam Tam, who would later change his name to Tamino Casino, Double K, Honcho K, and Johnny Damn D would engineer. I do the dash just to get to that money Then hit the mind just to fuck out some honeys Mama be praying for me cause I'm thuggin' I told mama chill niggas don't be on nothing But CJ would be the one to really carry the casino torch Dropping mixtape after mixtape Visual after visual Huncho K will catch a case and have to go do time Double K stay consistent with dropping music. Bugatti would drop music too, but he would mostly take a back seat and let the other ones do their thing. While CJ would introduce the world to A Gang, and this would be the start of the second wave. You no, know, I'm focused on Gucci Gang, Stain Gang, you know, and I got my young eight niggas, you know what I'm saying, in the hood. So I'm focused on that right now. Apply pressure every time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Bitch, I can't start from the bridge, that's the heart of the city with my 
Huh? Ape Gang was already known in the streets, but now they would gain notoriety on the music scene. And with the hood fame Gucci Gang tension at its peak, the beef would trickle down to the next generation. Sparking a beef between Ape Gang and at that time, hood fame affiliates YT and Murder Gang and BOE. Fuck you talking about? BMO4E, YT My young niggas kill it and rock with them odd niggas careful they don't want no problem. No slide, no. pop up, we gon' solve it. What the fuck this little nigga got going on? Uh -huh. If he so gangster, why the fuck he keep making songs? Yeah. Me and my niggas on defense, we in the zone. We step for each other together, mm. if right or wrong. I want to kill you, better lay low. Fuck trying to find me, I'll put you on Fox 4. How you got Texas and Glock? Oh, we got me. Hit a nigga with this glow stick. <laughs> Call me King Glow. Now these two cliques would already not like each other based off the history of Fort Worth gangbang. Music would just put it on display. Now the apes would suffer a loss at the hands of Fort Worth PD when one of their guys, Mari, was a victim of an officer-involved shooting. Hey, let me talk to you for a second. Body camera video captures the moment Fort Worth police say 18-year-old Amari Malone ran from officers before turning around and pointing his gun. The pursuing officers defended themselves by discharging their firearms. Interim Chief Ed Kraus says four officers opened fire hitting Malone once. According to police, Malone was a person of interest in an August 5th murder. And when investigators spotted him Wednesday evening on the 5800 block of Boca Raton Boulevard, he took off. Several officers began chasing Malone, uh, loudly announcing to the other officers that Malone had a weapon. He's got a gun! He's got a gun! Multiple rounds were fired. Malone was struck one time. But at a press conference in Dallas Thursday, attorney Lee Merritt, representing Malone's mother, disputed that police video told the whole story. I noticed that the Fort Worth Police Department used still frame images uh, to confirm what they believe uh, to be Amari pointing the weapon. Um, I think I've seen videos misused that way before. Merritt did, however, commend Fort Worth Police for releasing the video, something he hopes will become standard. I think it should be done not only when officers um, believe that it can quell false information uh, or put, put their office and a positive light, which should be done in every case. But Fort Worth police were clear Thursday that body camera video will not be released after every officer involved shooting, blaming rapidly spreading quotes misinformation for their decision to show the body camera video. We just wanted to clear up some of this stuff. Jack Heiberger, NBC5. Omari would be one of the seven people killed in 2019. Long live Mari. Next, the casinos will add Corpus Christi artist Muddy Water Wayne, who would later change his name to Muddy Casino to the roster, along with Drank Nitty and Ferrari Casino. But not long after, Boo and CJ would have an altercation in Houston that would change things forever. Hey. What's up, CJ? Tell why these niggas went down here. This nigga went down here saying he slapped me and took my chain. He did what now? That nigga came down telling people he slapped me and took my chain. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Hey, look at oh, big. Hey, this is this is this is not scary man. When you cock the Draco. Yeah. Oh God. I'm playing, nigga. Gang on blood. Do my little nigga say something or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me do it. I hope that. I hope that. He bring the pain back to my big homie, fool. He bring the pain back to my big homie. Tell me they report. I'm playing with report, bro. Say like a nigga pay him or something. You scared? Nigga scared the bitch. Nigga on blood gang. Gonna get all that shit right. What they down there saying now? Man, not a motherfucking thing to the casino bitch right here, nigga. Oh, blood, these niggas know what time we at. Oh, man, come on, man. Yeah. Oh, good. Stop playing, nigga. Don't die behind this shit, nigga. We for real with this shit, nigga. We move. We move. Like and then you supposed to be my man, father. Then he did not tell y'all this. What did he tell? Hold on. What did he tell y'all about my little partner when I tell my little partner to do? I'm crash out and down. You say what? He say he, 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 say he had him. Yeah, he had him ready to crash. Talking about he was trying to smoke something when I had for this time. He said, "You hear me? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, crash out and do that. What the hey, hell we talking about? about? We trying to, we trying to talk. At the end of the day, I feel like, I feel like it was just a nigga already had something on his chest. You know, at the end of the day, whatever y'all got, that's what y'all got. But it's in between family, nigga. This the whole school for people that's lost. I Man, got his ass beat in front of his bitch. Reached for his pot and the gun." Partner ain't want to give him the gun. He ended up pulling off of my chain. 
came back to the city, puff faker like he did some took my shit on Blood Gang. And I took it to the internet first. And my big homie told me he recorded a video giving him back my chain. He wasn't gonna take it to the internet, but I know what type of nigga he was. He was gonna be showing people like, hey, look, look what I did and this, this, and that. Capping like he really did that. So I had to get on her and make you look bad because I see what type of nigga you is on Blood. He forgot about this one. He forgot, I got, he forgot, this seat, yeah, this seat, yeah, yeah, this seat, yeah, yeah. he forgot about this one, yeah, yeah, I got it, pull up on me, tough man, yeah, home blood, I'm that fat boy, you know what I'm at, home blood, look, look, Rogers like this, man, back in the hood, look, 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 fuck you talking about, look out there, look, look out there for any nigga, listen there, this who run the project, Right here, yeah, Drink nigga, the on my mama. Damn, if I baby. tell you get at any nigga, what's gonna happen, damn? It's over with Jack. On my mama, yeah. It's over with Jack. Yeah. yeah. Bitch, fuck you talking about niggas just talking. Yeah, when I catch niggas ass, no one shook. That situation caused everybody to be in the uproar. You had the big apes, Almighty and 21 shots threatening bodily harm. Everybody was tuned in to see what was gonna happen next. The one that was riding with CJ, which was Channel 5 J Dub, and the one that was arguing with Ape Gang Almighty, which was 21 shots, shocked everybody. Man, I don't know how to explain this to y'all, but man, this shit right here, blow. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Any misconfusion or misconceptions y'all have about this here right here? This belongs to us now. Really him. You know what I'm saying? But this is took, cuz. He told me I ain't up, bro. Nigga let you, bro. It was already planned seven days ago, Jack. We just been giving you enough time to be a real nigga now. Now, and we kept seeing the flowers in. There ain't no flowers in here, here BBs, bro. <laughs> Listen, man, nigga, hey, they want to take these my young oh, niggas, man. What are you talking about? What is you nigga Come talking on, about? Baby. Look, Come man, I went to hey, it's, 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 it's insane. Hey, hey, casino, man. Casino world, man. Casino world. Casino world. Yes, nigga not taking nothing from me on my mama. Huh? Hey, my young niggas. Nah, for real. Come get it, baby. Hey, man. That's what I'm saying. When you fuck. Listen, y'all believe that internet shit. When you fuck over the streets, the streets yeah. fuck over you. Real fuck all that shit, nigga. Get on live. Tell me I did some hoe ass shit. Niggas know who the real is. Niggas oh, know man. Kevin real, nigga. Big hey, man. who you gonna call now, man? Hey, you can't take him. Huh? Huh? You, huh? you can't text him from my face, no Come on, bro. Come on, man. Come to the hood. Come on, man. What are you at? What are you at, man? Come on, bro. Come on, nigga. I really got love in these streets, nigga. Nigga, I made you, nigga. Fuck you, oh, me. Hell is you talking about, nigga? Y'all don't play the game, nigga. Y'all don't know what be going on, nigga. It's our right we are blood. Now, this situation took place right after Channel 5 J Dub dropped Nike. Mind you, all of this shit happened within the same week. The fight in Houston, Nike drops, and Channel 5 J Dub steals Lil CJ's chain. CJ took to Facebook and Instagram and said this. Nigga asked me to wear my chain on live. You know, I be letting little bro and them thug. We ain't never had shit, so it's only right. Bro, ho acted like he was finna go live outside and went and hopped in the car and pulled out. I'm thinking this nigga in the restroom. I get on IG, this nigga on live in the back of a car on the freeway talking shit. I guess somebody paid him on some lame shit. Then he say, this nigga could've stole my phone too on blood. This little bum ass nigga ain't even got a phone. I let him use my shit. He was capping like he was finna hop on live. Whole time he pump faked and plied. I'm not expecting no shit like this from a nigga I do everything for. This nigga too crumbed out the game. Tripped out. Nigga had a whole stick and ain't up that hoe cause he knew if I ask CJ to wear the chain, he gon' do it. I ain't green. I'm just the type of nigga that's gon' let my nigga shine. Turned out this nigga a crumb. With him, it's a built up. It's not one situation. Right. It's a lot of built up shit that I was throwing in the past, making excuses for. Right, right. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, when everybody got into it, him and the day, we uh, all might into it. Right, right, right. Ooh, everybody on blood. Yeah. I don't stop this. The nigga been doing a whole shit. Even with all that being squashed, he been trying to pull us to the side. We ate him right, before right, anything. Right. He been trying to pull us to the side. Trying to separate us still though. Telling my homeboy six shots. Right. You know what I'm saying? When it come down to it, I'ma step on Jada up and you shooting at my girlfriend behind my back and then acting like you don't know this is my girlfriend. A lot of weird ass shit. Right, right man, that's crazy yeah. though, cause I thought y'all was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Was... That's but you know what I'm saying? A lot of shit man be going built up and niggas right. getting too 
You know what I mean? After the chain incident, J Dub and 21 shot would drop Nike 2, which would be a diss to Lil CJ. Yeah, I got your chain, little bitch, come get it. CJ would never reply on wax. He just said that shit suck. J Dub would become the hottest up and coming rapper out of Dallas Fort Worth. He dropped his first song, Leg Shot, with Lil Keith, which did a substantial amount of views on the audio. But the whole chain incident and his hit song, Nike, is what really got the people's attention. J Dub would be the first Fort Worth rapper to diss the dead and smoke eye packs in his music. Also, he shot a video in three different hoods. His buzz reached clear across Texas and influenced out of towners to come to the city and start blogging. But unfortunately, just weeks after his 17th birthday, Channel 5 J Dub would be shot and killed on the south side of Fort Worth. I hope this baby make it. I don't know who he is, y'all. But I heard all this damn shooting by 3.30 and I jumped up because it sounded like it was right at my fucking door. And he got a big ass gun. Motherfucking gun he had. Ooh, I'm shaking y'all. I'm scared and cold. He's barely breathing y'all. Look like he got hit in the head and it came through the neck or the neck and went up to the head, but he barely fucking breathing, man. That's the young man there. Black gloves on his hands and a black shirt wrapped around his face. This is South Side, real side. sad part about this whole situation is that a mother had to bury her child, siblings lost their brother, friends lost a partner. J-Dub has so much potential to where there's still an ongoing debate about if he's a legend or not. And although I feel like that term gets thrown around loosely, he definitely left his mark in this shit. But that's beside the point. The laws of attraction is real and so is the streets. So just know what you're getting yourself into before you jump off that porch or just find you something else to do. Long live five. The moment the nigga walked out the door, the nigga hopped on live on my chain like he took something, bro. I was scared for that little nigga. Point blank period, nigga. And I ain't, don't, on stop six, I made a live last night, motherfucker said. I see Jay respond. I ain't respond to shit. And then I did, I did say, nigga, I ain't had shit to do with that. But the nigga ain't put that on, on YouTube. After J Dub died, some of the Truman Street OGs got together and called the meeting to try to get some of the feuding parties to squash their beef. You had Boo, CJ, and Ape Gang going at it, Ape Gang and NCG, but that's a whole nother story. CJ didn't show up, he came the next day, but we all know what happened. I'm tired, I'm tired of playing with you niggas on blood. You niggas gonna have to come scratch, nigga. On God, nigga. Where is you at, Boo? Got it, nigga, on Jesus Christ, nigga. Come scratch, nigga. On blood gang, nigga. Come fight. Yeah, nigga, just like that, nigga. Y'all see where I'm at, nigga, on blood, nigga. Ain't nobody in the car with me. Yeah. On blood, nigga, I'm in the hood by myself. Come on with that. Come on with that, let's get that. On blood, I still got my little corn roll. On stop six, come with that. On blood, gang, I won't smoke on blood with anybody. Stop six, I'm waiting. I'm not going nowhere on blood. We not finna pump fake and get off live because I think them niggas on the way. None of that, nigga, on blood. Yeah, yeah, too. I'm tired of this shit. We finna end that shit right now. We finna end that shit right now. Hey, take Pee Wee to the doctor. Give me that. Give me that. Here we go. Dang. Oh, look at fucking good. Come on, babe.
Babe, what the fuck you talking about? Looking back at the whole situation, I often wonder how things might have been if CJ never did that song with Brick. Or if Bugatti never would have been recording when he brought CJ his chain back. Loyalty, egos, and clout played a big role in the fallout. But sometimes it takes fuck shit to happen so you can see who's really riding with you. CJ continued to mash on his own, taking his brother's double K and big stain with it. He already had gang shit, only three out, but he would go on to drop Death Trap, his own Nike mixtape, and GSO4. Punch OK will be released from prison, and he's currently in the studio working on new projects. 21 Shot is currently in the feds, while Six Shot, Jose Reckless, Ape Gang Almighty, Ape Gang Mosky, D Casino, and others continue to carry the Ape Gang flag. Mud Gang continues to rock with Bugatti, and no word on Tamino Casino, but Johnny Damn D is currently in Atlanta with 1017 artists enchanting. Bugatti left Fort Worth and is currently in Houston. Him and CJ never patched things up. Bugatti would suffer two more losses when his baby mama would be shot and killed in a drive-by, and also Lil Dev would be shot and killed at Smokey's Paradise. Bugatti, while in Houston, would stay consistent with dropping visuals, along with a series of mixtapes. He would drop Process of Elimination, Dancing with the Devil, Big Flamingo, 1638, Life's a Gamble, and The Gamble. Hopefully, everybody can put this behind them and move forward. Y'all never gotta be friends or give us another song, just stay out each other's way. Rest in peace to all the fallen. But this concludes another episode of How It All Started. Y'all hit the like button, subscribe, get at me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Aight, let's go. See, a lot of motherfuckers don't know CJ and Boo been getting into it. Been doing a little Facebook. CJ made it satisfied by Boo that it's so long and it says so much stuff. I know they got a screenshot. That's the word, like, can't come back from that. Shut the fuck up and just listen. Bitch, I'm a trapper, but right now I'm leaving the kitchen. Ain't no one smoking the city. We up in the murder rate. Right? Watch how we go in a minute. Watch how these niggas be missing. These niggas do anything. Niggas just want some attention. Internet stay in my business. Get out of my business. Ain't no one's gonna be a killer. <laughs> I did it out of love, so you don't owe me. Yeah, uh, it really ain't the same, that's what it showed me. What it showed me. Uh, you speaking on my name like you don't know me. Puss, puss. You went against the grind, can't let you hold me. I mean, y'all just tuned in to TPTV Live. Man. So the dog made it back to his rightful owner, and then there was a robbery.